Cześć! Uwaga! Hola! Buongiorno! Yazu! That's a long Greece, by the way. Greek. Seasoned agents. Rookies. Administration. Ms. Cass. Administration. Management. Ownership. Mr. JK. New faces. Special guests. My team and my friends. Welcome to my full rally. Woo! Cheers to you all. Michael, next year I'm going to get you a teleprompter. <laughs> so this is about three years I've been doing my fall rally. I do it twice a year, so it's my sixth rally. We do it in the spring and we do it in the fall. Um, so I hope everyone is enjoying the eclectic menu we provided for you of different cultures of food as well as the beer, wine, and of course my homemade sangria. It's important to know this is not a meeting, although George would like it to be, it's a rally. <laughs> We're not here to talk about business, I'll spare you from my two hour dissertation and lecture, and I will limit my message to all of about 15 minutes. Thank you. There's a lot of new faces here, so I'd just quickly like to mention some names, I'm not gonna embarrass you, um, so everyone can get familiar with each other here. Um, so as far as new agents to the company within this year, 2018, we have, uh, and if I pronounce your name wrong, I've been drinking a little sangria, so forgive me. <laughs> uh, we, so we have Layla Afif, where's Layla? Can she raise her hand? Layla, thank you also for bringing the Mediterranean food for us. Wanda Torado. Hello, Wanda. Michelle Costello, new to the company as well, but not new to real estate. Irina Golden. Lisa Mena. Danny Palmer, I hope you say your name right. Just like very recently new. Uh, uh, no, she's not here, okay. Uh, Mark D. Simone, there's Mark. <laughs> Gabe Torres, Gabe, Gabe. I think I covered all the new agents. Also new to the company, uh, David Lee, also our social media director. Um, also, Carmen Jimenez. Where's Carmen? Right here. She's going to be our new uh, night, night and admin, uh, uh, weekend rather, night and weekend administrator. Uh, to, uh, so welcome Carmen, glad you could be here tonight. She's just starting. Uh, and uh, Callie, this is your going away party. So this is really <laughs> support. <laughs> Callie, thank you for your support. And I know you're moving out of the area, so we wish you all the best. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into some stats and uh, from an office perspective, company perspective, and recognize some agents, and then I'm just gonna leave you with a brief message. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, congratulations <laughs> to you all. Your message? <laughs> this is my, congratulations to you all. This is our year-to-date transactions, okay? So these are the lives we've changed this year, okay? So. <laughs> Um, so what I want to do is just quickly run through. I'm just going to move this a little bit. Just quickly run through some stats with you, from a, from an office perspective and from a, a company perspective. As to you know what those stats break down to me. Okay. So uh, this office, Team Lenders, launched 30 houses this year, year to date. Okay. We did a total of 50 sale closings. <coughs> We put on 103 rental rentals on the market, and we also closed 104. Now keep in mind, this information is deemed reliable, but not guaranteed. You know, that's, John, John likes that. You know, that's the disclosure you have to put on all your information, okay? So these are roundabout approximates, but for the most part, they're 99.99% accurate. Um, okay, so from a sales perspective, as far as our office, Team Lindhurst, and we're also going to touch on the uh, company numbers, um, we did 21.3 million in volume in, in gross sales for the team. A total of 55 sides, and we did an average of $386,000 is our average sale price in, in you know, the marketplace, our wheelhouse, so to speak, as far as the territory we cover. 
As far as our office goes, Team Lenners, we're at number 140 out of 775 offices in the, this is according to the New Jersey Multiple Listing. So there's 775 offices that rank in the New Jersey Multiple Listing. Okay, there may be a little more, I don't know the exact number, but maybe they didn't do any sales. But they got one sale on the board, the 775. So out of that, we, we rank in the top 18 percentile as far as sales, this office alone. So congratulations to you guys. It's very good. Okay, uh, and from a company perspective, um, we did over 237 sides, almost 100 million. Okay, so I don't, John, how many years have we done? John? John. How many years have we done over 100? Over 100 million. Welcome, Mr. Marcio. Glad you're here. How many years? How many years we we hit the hundred mark? I wouldn't prepared if I knew it was gonna get <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've been at the company about six years, and I think over the last six years we've been doing at the 100 million mark. So we're, we're right at that point now. The 100 million mark, I would say, you know, once we, we got Rutherford and Lindhurst going, yeah, so I want to say about seven to eight years. Okay, so yeah. we've been maintaining this, the, yeah, this, this, this mark, so. okay, within plus or minus factors, a couple of stats, but maintaining it is a lot harder than it sounds. Tell you that. Uh, so 237 size, the average sale company wide is 408,000. And from a company perspective, we're in the top 3% out of 648 offices that ranked in the New Jersey multiple listing. Okay, so that's quite an achievement. Number 22, if you look at it on, on a ranking perspective. <clears throat> as far as rentals go, that was sales. As far as rentals go, Linhurst office. Um, I think this is probably one of our strongest years in rentals, I, I would think. Um, we collected almost $330,000 in fees. As you know, a fee is one month's rent. So that's $330,000 in one month's rent. Um, that's 170 rental sides. And the average rental is $1,624. And I know from when I started here with the company six years ago, it was close to 1200 I would say, George, you think? I know it was very, uh, it wasn't this high. So the rentals are going up as well as the, the, the sale of homes. Uh, so that's a good sign as far as the market goes. Uh, our office ranks number 20 out of 571 offices. So we're in the top three percentile as far as rentals go. So hats off to you guys. That's all part of that list on the floor over there. Is that your sangria? Because um, now I'm going to fold it and put it on my desk. Company wide. Uh, as far as fees go, over 600,000, 360 sides. So that means year to date, our company, basically every day we help someone move in, from a rental perspective, okay? Uh, 1,700 is the average for the rentals, company-wide, all of our offices. And when you gather all our offices together, we're, we rank number seven out of almost 500 offices. That puts us in the top one percentile, okay? So company-wide sales, we're in the top 3%. Company-wide rentals, we're in the 1%. So hats off to you guys. Great job. <laughs> must be good. Okay, so I'm just gonna shut this down for a second. Okay. So I just want to quickly transition into recognizing the agents that contributed to these stats from our offices. Okay? Um, and I just have a list I'm just gonna run down. Okay, so I know uh, Wanda Torado, uh, one of my rookies. She has a deal mm -hmm. under contract at Hackensack. Uh, Layla, uh, another rookie of ours, uh, she has an active listing in Lyndhurst. Uh, Russell, who's not here tonight, he told me we couldn't make it. He has it under contract in Kingsland Avenue. Gabe Torres, two rental closings for you. Amy Jarvis, one rental closing. Dawn Sergi, who she said she was on her way. Um, she has one sale closing. Brian Sakovich, who couldn't make it tonight, he has one sale closing. Greg, two rental closings. Mark DeSimone, AKA the Ridge open house guy. I know you love doing the open houses at the Ridge. Two, two rental closings at the Ridge, and I think you're working on your third or fourth, possibly. Uh, Florence, I don't know if she made it tonight. Um, she has two transactions as well, two sale closings. Irina Golden, one of my new rookies, two sale closings, one listing and one buyer contract. Uh, Janice Mitchell, one of our seasoned agents, uh, six sides this year. She has, uh, well, one pending, it's gonna close, Davis, right? 
Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, Thun, I'm sorry, that's right. Three, three sale closings and three rental closings, plus she has an active sale listing. If anyone has a buyer, commercial property, redevelopment in uh, North Arlington. Um, Q1, <laughs> Eric, Eric Quinones, I call it Q1s. Uh, seven sides, three sale closings and um, four rental sides. Good job. Daniela, who couldn't make it tonight, uh, eight sides. She had uh, two sale closings and six rental closings. Benet, we were supposed to FaceTime him. I forgot to do that. <laughs> He's in Florida at a wedding. Um, he would have loved to have been here, believe me. And he would have been doing salsa dancing in the aisle. <laughs> so Benet is a rookie of ours as well. Uh, he had nine, nine closings, nine sides rather, three sale closings, six rentals, and he also has he also has an active rental on the market. So the next five agents are potential um, circle of excellence award winners. They're not yet, because I know you're not allowed to say it according to the guidelines, but they're yeah, candidates. You can't even record it, so you can't talk about it. Okay, I'm sorry. So anyway, I'll we'll stop that there. <laughs> anyway, Gina Rabine, uh, nine sides. Shut up, Dylan. <laughs> she had six, six sale closings, Gina, yeah, and also three rental closings, plus she has one other contract and has with Kites. Good job, Gina. <laughs> the other Gina, Gina Luga. <laughs> Also nine sides, uh, six sale closings, three rental sides. I'm sorry, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. 14 sides, six sale sides, eight rentals, and also one on the contract in Linhurst. Yeah. Then there's San Giusto in the back. Uh, 31 sides. Whoa. Woo! Woo! Four, four sale closings. <laughs> Well, you're only allowed to have two sides at this restaurant. <laughs> 27 rentals and about another 18 active rentals. <laughs> Dorota Chajnaki, AKA Red, who's now brown and short. 28 sides, 11 sale sides, 17 rental sides. Plus two active rentals on the board, and of course, last but not least, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Roscoe. Oh, Ninety-four, uh, ninety-four sides, uh, <laughs> ten sale sides, and eighty-four rental sides. Plus one on the contract and about another 20 active rentals. Congratulations. Oh, also, I forgot, I'm sorry, one other person. DeAndre Santuccio. One closed sale. Yeah. So, what do all these stats, figures, and numbers really mean? Are they important? Do they help with positioning? Does it give leverage over the competitors? Does it help you stand out from the crowd? Absolutely yes. But what really is the driving force behind these numbers? Let's put all these stats aside just for a second. I just want to just deliver you a quick message before we end and we go back to drinking and eating. So when you surround yourself with people that have a common set of values and beliefs, amazing and great things happen. Bonds form, trust emerges, and you start to sacrifice yourself so that someone else may gain. How many times during a transaction did you go above and beyond? For your customer, your client, another agent, an attorney, a lender, or perhaps a coworker? How many times in your own life did you sacrifice so that another may gain? Your spouse, your partner, your parents, or how about a complete stranger? You see, it's about people. It's about relationships. It's about the lives and families of the individuals that we impact one move at a time. Folks, we're in the people business, if you haven't figured that out by now. And if you don't understand people, you don't understand business. What we sell is real estate. I think everyone can figure that out. It couldn't be any more obvious. How 
exactly we, we sell real estate, it's fairly calculated and regulated. We have systems, we have tools, we have strategies, we have support systems, we have processes. These have been proven over the last nearly six decades from our company. So let me ask you a question. Why did you get into real estate? Was it for the easy money? And the get rich quick? Was it for the flexibility? Uh, to make your own schedule? Or was it to... Or was it for the freedom to be your own boss? Or was it for the lifestyle of calling yourself a realtor? I'm sure all these things are part and true. But I know it's a deeper reason. Look, it's safe to say we all know what we do. And for the most part, we all know how to do it. Some I'm questionable about. <laughs> but can you clearly articulate why you do it? Why you do what you do? Sound a little Italian from New Jersey, but <laughs> what's your purpose? What's your cause? What's your belief? My friends, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And this isn't my opinion. It's grounded in science, <coughs> it's grounded in biology, okay? It stems from the limbic system in, in your brain that controls decision making. It controls behavior, gut instincts. People say they lead with their heart, they don't lead with their heart, they lead with their brain, okay? Because it feels right. That's why people make decisions. Highly successful and great leaders, companies with a vision and drive, teams that are super organized, and trendsetters, they all have one thing in common. They deliver or sell their products and services from the inside out. They use a golden circle. So this is where a lot of my training and the way I look at business comes from. And I could talk to you guys about this on another date more in detail, but the point is pretty clear. Um, this is a journey. So I ask you, are you moving on the right path? Are you walking past the right mile markers? Are you making progress? Are you going in the right direction? I challenge you to reflect and rethink why you got into real estate. Why you get out of bed every day. What is your purpose? What is your cause? What is your belief? And I don't mean the money, because that's only the reward. Do you even know? <coughs> Do you feel it? Can you clearly articulate it? Is it portrayed in your marketing and your actions with clients and coworkers and other business associates? Are you propelling people forward so that they can make their mark in the world? My last thought is this, my vision and my goal is to build this team and this company where the vast majority of you under my leadership wake up every single morning feeling inspired to go to work. Feel safe when you're here and return home at the end of the day feeling fulfilled by the work you've, I've done. So my message is live to inspire. So thank you all for coming. And that's my message. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the food. Enjoy the sangria. Have a good night. And take Uber home if you're not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs>